Welcome to the City Council meeting for February 22nd, 2016. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> Council Mr. Stadesky. President, I'd move, move at this time for a suspension of the rules on the, uh, the appointments on number one and two. Second. second. Motion made and seconded to act on number, items number one and two this evening under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? So moved. Uh, Mr. Clerk, please read item number one. Appointment of Kevin Amaral to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Brenda L. Perez to the rank of Temporary Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Question is on adoption of the two items by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Ajax. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. 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 The appointments are confirmed. Uh, would Sergeants Amaral and Perez step forward, please, for a moment? Thank you. Thank you very much. Would you like to say anything? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, and good luck, and be safe. Yes, really. Council Stanesky. On reconsideration, in hopes it does not prevail. Second. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Thank you. Good luck. Item number three. The report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of February 10th, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from James J. Holmes relative to the Finance Committee meeting of January 19th, 2016. President. Councilor Sullivan. I hereby move to authorize our Legislative Council to send the proposed letter to the Office of the Attorney General, Division of Open Meeting and uh, Open Government. Second. Second. Thank you. I believe you all have a copy of the letter. Mm -hmm. Motion made and seconded uh, to send this letter to the Attorney General Office. All those in favor? Opposed? So moved. Thank you. Thank you. Item number five. Communication from the Director of Personnel verifying that based on review of the current personnel department, personal overtime appropriation has a surplus of $400 in the fiscal year 2016. Accepted and placed on file. The chairman of the Board of Assessors requested a transfer of $387.41 from the personnel department, personal services overtime, to assess the department, personal services overtime, to pay the four clerks who stay due to extending hours of the assessor's department on January 25, 2016, to better serve the public who had questions regarding their fiscal 2016 assessments and abatements. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of the fire department requested to accept and expend a total of $100,000 from the Commonwealth of the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security. The intended use for these grant funds is for overtime necessary to maintain staffing levels. This is a non-matching grant with no cost to the city. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the captain of the Operations Bureau of the Police Department request an authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 2016 public safety answering point and regional emergency communication center support and incentive grant any amount of $315,000 500, uh, $315,586. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained <clears throat> by the City of Brockton and the City Council as follows. Section 2-398 composition of the Conservation Commission is hereby deleted and replaced. Refer to ordinance. Not as amending chapter 17 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Article 2, Planning Board, section 17-18, members is hereby deleted in its entirety and replaced. Refer to ordinance. Not as amending chapter 17 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton 
be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 17, Article 2, Planning Board, Division 1, uh, generally Section 17-18, members is hereby amended by deleting the section in its entirety and replacing it. Refer to ordinance. Appropriation of $100,000 as follows. From the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 16, Mass Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant, to the Brockton Fire Department, Fiscal 16, Mass Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Fund. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $315,000. $586 for the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, State 911, Fiscal 16, Public Safety, Answering Point and Regional Emergency Communication Center Support, an incentive grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 16, Public Safety Answering Point, Regional Emergency Communication Center Support and Incentive Grant Fund. Refer to finance. A transfer of $387.41 for the Personnel Department, Personal Services Overtime, to assess his Department of Personal Services Overtime. Refer to finance. Resolved that the Commissioner of the Department of Public Works, the Chief Financial Officer, the City Engineer, appear before a committee of this council to discuss the issues of unaccepted roadways on which residents live, the limitations, if any, imposed upon the city for the maintenance and repairs of these roadways and the potential costs associated with preparing private ways for formal acceptance as public ways. Refer to finance. Mr. President. <coughs> Councilor Sullivan. Moment of personal privilege. You may. I just wanted to remind my colleagues and those here in attendance and those watching on TV that uh, this Thursday night, 6 to 8 p.m., uh, which is February 25th at North Middle School, the four at-large councillors, Council Barnes, Council Rodriguez, Council Fowell, myself, are hosting the first ever citywide council at-large uh, meeting. We're going to have quarterly meetings. This will be the first one. Anybody and everybody should come. We're going to have some good discussion, so I do encourage everybody to be there. Thank you. Thank you. Council Lally. Moment of personal privilege. You may. I would like to remind everyone that I, too, will be having a uh, ward meeting. Wednesday, February 24th at 7 p.m. at the Brookfield Elementary School. All are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Stanetsky. Mr. President, a moment of personal purpose, please. You may. I'd like to announce again tonight a Ward 4 meeting. Thursday, the 25th at 7 p.m. at the Davis School. Uh, the main uh, topic will be the Route 28 corridor but I'm sure something else might pop up at that meeting. Thank, Thank you, you Councillor. <laughs> uh, so, Councillors, just to, we'll be close to getting back on a real schedule soon. We will have finance next Monday night, February 29th. Okay. That should preclude us from needing a, a finance on March 7th, and then we'll be back to our regular schedule. But uh, next Monday night, 7 o'clock, February 29th, leap year. Any leap year babies here? We'll uh, have a, a finance meeting, and then we'll, uh, we should be caught up after the uh, storm a couple of weeks ago. Any other? Uh, actually, Mr. President, I'm sorry. Lines. I just actually uh, remembered something. Uh -oh. I just want to let the council know and the, the gallery know and folks at home watching that there will be a, um, I believe it's a heart management or a heart healthy seminar or workshop this weekend. It's at the uh, Westgate Mall. They're going to be having Zumba classes and some, um, I guess, some heart testing monitors and just some kind of information on your health and keeping yourself healthy as, as we uh, go forward into 2016. And I believe it starts at 1 o'clock, but they will be having different activities, family fun activities and um, it's all about keeping your heart healthy and, keep, and maintaining your health. So at the West uh, Gate Mall, I believe at 1 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor. Any other items before us? We're adjourned.